Hello guys and welcome to another Body Stenics tutorial. If you're new to our channel, be sure to start off by subscribing and hitting the bell icon for notifications so that way you don't miss any future videos just like this one. Today's tutorial is the second part of the two-part series of how to increase your max reps. In our previous tutorial, we showed you how to increase max reps for basic exercises. In today's tutorial, we're going to cover how to increase your max reps for skill-based exercises and also for static holds, specifically how to increase holding times. Let's begin with statics. The first foundational rule in increasing your static holds is to hold until you are disengaged and losing form. No matter whether you are able to hold a full position hold or a half lay or even a tuck, it's vital that you increase your best form hold as much as possible. You can also combine two static holds in one set, front and back lever go well together. The second priority is to do drop sets without letting go of the bar. The focus and emphasis must always be on form as well as scapular engagement. Specifically, scapular retraction for front lever and scapular protraction for back lever holds. The next fundamental is the focus on breathing. You must have short and sharp breaths on a continuous basis for static holds. With candlestick holds, next it's beneficial that you accessorize each static hold, then with negatives, and further with raises, but at all times keeping in mind to prioritize quality and firm scapular engagements to initiate the movements of every exercise. As we fatigue during our training, we must continue working our static holds from all angles and ending our sessions with band exercises. However, the key with band exercises is to imagine that the band is not there helping you. The same applies for the handstand hold. We are always looking for quality over quantity. Now let's move on to how to increase your max reps for skills. If your goal is to perform a perfect form handstand push-up, we must train this exercise from all angles, similarly to how we did with the statics. You can use the wall in order to remove the balance aspect and focus strictly on form and engagement of the hollow body. We can further accessorize the exercise by performing pike push-ups, which is beneficial for increasing awareness of the correct movement pattern. The same applies to if the pike press is your goal. Always begin training with your max rep attempts of whichever variation you are able to perform. You can then move on to consistent rep-based exercises, such as pike press reps, And once again, end your session by accessorizing the exercise with an easier progression such as pike push-ups. You can add further complexity to your pike press training by combining it with a dip and a press in one set. You can always begin with tuck variations and then move on to more aggressive progressions later on such as deficit range and higher parallel bar platforms and doing so by never taking your attention off the concept of quality over quantity. Body snacks. Thanks for watching today's tutorial guys. If you guys found value then be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell icon for notifications. We upload a new tutorial every Wednesday and Saturday at 3 p.m. European Easter Summer Time. For those athletes who want a more in-depth approach to their calisthenics progress, be sure to get your own copy of the 100 Calisthenics Secrets book. And for an even more depth analysis on how you can progress as an all-round calisthenics athlete, be sure to get access to our exclusive Ultimate Calisthenics course.
And for those athletes who want to join the Body Stenics global family of athletes who are taking their skills and strength to the next level, be sure to apply for online coaching today in order to fast track your progress and achieve elite calisthenics status. I'm George, Body Stenics Coach. See you guys in the next video.